Only a handful of people are willing to marry a complete stranger, but millions of us will tune in to watch it happen. These are the brave couples who've put their hands up to marry at first sight. Somebody who's really assertive and like just someone charismatic. You know, I like to look at like a nice groomed man, glowing skin, good teeth. I like that European looking like tall, dark, handsome guy. Martha! Martha! Oh. oh my god, who is this guy? Hello, Reed. Reed from A Current Affair. Reed, how no, are you? Good, nice to meet you, nice to Likewise. meet you. Likewise. She's Australia's very own Kim Kardashian, Martha from Bondi. Everyone's inspired by Kim, she's hot. The 30 year old is about to tie the knot with a complete stranger on Married at First Sight. Looking at you, yeah. you do not look like someone who should be single. Yeah, I know. I feel like I get that all the time. It's like the most annoying question. Oh. Just get out of my shot. Oh my god. Well, oh, oh, oh. I mean, you said it, but okay. This is a current affairs must see maths guide as we introduce you to the personalities that will feel? rock the social experiment <laughs> to its core. No, the smile, the eyes. Um, yeah, it's just overall uh, looks. Overall pretty attractive. Yeah, yeah, I have been told that. What I always get told is my eyes. I guess you use those eyes to your advantage sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Oh. <laughs> my physical, yeah. oh, absolutely nothing. Just dad bod and a terrible head. 20 single Australians are on board and will be matched by three relationship experts who use science to couple them up. They focus on their personalities, values, and whether or not they'll be attracted to one another. How do you do pheromone testing? Oh, <laughs> do I want to know? Sniff t-shirts. Oh. Do they sniff t-shirts? So they get sent t-shirts, yeah. um, and, and they have to put it in a snack lock bag every night and yeah. wear it to bed. No deodorants, no spicy foods. They do that for a week and then they send it in and they smell each other's t-shirt. That sounds really, really gross. Quite yeah. Oh, yeah. It does. <laughs> After the break on A Current Affair, meet the colourful Australian singles set to star in the country's biggest show. I think I intimidate a lot of people. Sorry, I'm gonna get emotional. You would have told me last year that I'd be on it this year, I would have probably, um, yeah, you know, called you a few names and probably, uh, you know, poured some beer over you. And now you're on it. <laughs> yeah, what an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Mick. How are you, mate? Yeah, good. Reed from A Current Affair. Hey, Mick from Buddy Married at First Night. How you doing? Nice to meet you. He's a lovable larrikin, a full-time tradie and part-time farmer. No, there's not a lot of, uh, well, single women around the area. Now, Mick's ready to find a missus, and he's doing it on national television. So hopefully, you know, turn around at the altar and buddy, yeah, it takes me breath away, and then I shut up for a little bit and, yeah, take her home and, yeah, take her downstairs and lock her up, throw away the key. In a non-creepy way? No, no, yeah, definitely a non-creepy way, unless, you know, like, yeah, we'll see what happens. Jeez. Not kidding. <laughs> Everyone was like, at me. Brisbane legal assistant Innes is not afraid to speak her mind during the experiment. How are you? I'm Reed. I'm from a current affair. Innes, nice, nice to meet, meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to eyes. Oh, thank you so much. Um, shame we weren't matched up together. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. I like tattoos. Tattoos? I'm not going to lie there. I like a bit of facial tattoo action. Facial tattoo? Yeah. They're like the most full-on tattoos you can get. There's nothing wrong with being full-on. Elizabeth has been dubbed Australia's most confident bride. I have strangers all the time come up to me and tell me how beautiful I am. Like, all the time. And she's already copped backlash on social media. Can I read some out to you and get your response? OK. All right, Beth says, OMG, crazy eyes and crazy scary person. What's your response? A little bit. A little bit? You got <laughs> yeah, the... There's no denying these eyes, honey. Like, these, these can go, they can burn, like, burn through the salt. Can you give, what's your best crazy eye? I don't know, I think it's just when I go... That. Do you like that one? Was that intense? That is terrifying. That was, I can imagine so. Former military man, 41-year-old Mark, has never told a woman he loved her. Yeah, I've never actually said the L word, and I don't even like saying the actual word that comes with it. Then there's Matthew, a 29-year-old virgin from Queensland. 
I wanted to go on Married at First Sight purely because I was looking for love. He really came into this experiment saying, I've got all these fears. Some of them are social, some of them are you know, intimacy related, and I'm going to face them head on. What about physically? Do you, what do you think your best traits are Ooh, there? Physically, it's got to be the hair. The hair. <laughs> yeah. Show, show us what, what have we got going on there. So we've got a bit of a bug going on at the moment. Yeah. Can't do the long hair. I've, it, it's my hair. It's all about my hair, not his. Look, I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit dramatic at, you know, the best of times. One word. Uh, how would you describe yourself in one word? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> full on. <laughs> I think that's two words, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. These are just some of the big personalities set to marry a complete stranger during Australia's biggest social experiment. If I feel that I've heard something about one of the other husbands that the wife needs to know, I've said it. Oh God. Why not do something completely ridiculous and put it in the hands of three experts and here I am. Strap yourselves in because Married at First Sight starts tonight right here after A Current Affair on Nine.